It is not about us, but it's about how you work through us to get your presence to be known, to get your word to be known, hallelujah. So we exalt you and we thank you. We thank you for our traveling mercy. We thank you for just keeping us throughout the course of our week, Lord. We just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We cannot praise you enough for all that you've done for us, for dying on the cross, hallelujah, for making ways out of no ways, for opening doors, for closing doors, for healing our bodies, for setting the captive free, Lord. And we thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus. As the word of God go forth, Lord Jesus, fill the atmosphere, fill the building with you, Lord Jesus. Fill every crack, every crevice, everything. Let it be about you on today, Lord Jesus. We come against any spirit of oppression, depression, hallelujah, jealousy, malice, whatever may be in the atmosphere that is not of you, Lord Jesus. We bind it up in the name of Jesus and send it back to where it came from, hallelujah, because it has no place in our presence, in your presence, hallelujah, Jesus. So we thank you and we praise you, Lord Jesus. As the songs come forth, let it be a glory unto you, Lord Jesus, that you may be lifted up, hallelujah, that you may draw all men unto you, hallelujah. Bless on today that you get all the glory, all the praise, hallelujah, and the honor. In the precious name of Jesus, we sit it with your blood and we declare it and we it, hallelujah, on today. Amen and amen. amen. As we sing this song, please join in because I believe we know this song. Be glorified. Be glorified.
Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go. We are the Lord. Amen. We are with him. Amen. High. Amen. His name is high. And it is lifted up. Amen. His train even fills the temple of God. Amen. We give God praise. Amen. For our worship. Amen. God, amen. For everyone who is in the house of the Lord. Everyone, amen, who is joining us. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. We praise God for each and every one of you on today. Yes. Amen. We thank God uh, for bringing us, amen, one more time, amen, through another week. The Lord has kept us. Right. For that, we are so grateful unto uh, our God. Amen. Yes. It's almost time for the word of the Lord. Amen. Let us prepare, amen, to receive what the Lord on this morning. Yes. Amen. The praise team is going to sing one more song, but uh, we just want to thank God for everyone who came, uh, came out yesterday to our ladies' uh, conference, amen, was in the house. Um, but we had a women's conference on um, yesterday, amen, and we hear, amen, that it was wonderful, amen, it was good. So we thank God for everyone who participated, amen. I want to say to uh, ADCJC and uh, Columbia Agape, amen, on Thursday, amen, we will meet uh, by Zoom, and we want everyone to be uh, there to be a part of that uh, gathering, amen, to uh, first of all greet one another and also to uh, give updates, amen, of uh, what we're doing, uh, how we're going to proceed, amen, as the year goes, uh, just that we are informed, amen, it was good to be informed, and so we're going to inform you, we're going to entertain any questions, amen, we're going to all be on Amen. Uh, one page, amen, so that everybody has understanding, amen, and uh, just be able to fellowship, amen. It won't be a long time, amen, but, uh, but again, if you have questions, uh, something you don't understand, amen, uh, just be there, amen, especially if you are in any, any kind of uh, holding any kind of position or, or leadership. But we want everybody there at uh, 7 o'clock. We will send you the link. We will send everyone the link to the Zoom uh, before that time. Uh, so we don't we, we do want everyone to be a part, amen, so that you don't get secondhand information. Amen. I know it's good to have first hand information. Amen. If you have questions, amen, you can have you can ask uh, questions in Jesus' name, amen. Uh, because we want to be uh, with one accord as we before uh, through the year, amen, and into the, the future, amen. So we praise God and be with us again at 7 o'clock on Thursday. And uh, Tuesday, of course, amen, is Bible uh, study, amen. Be with us, join us, amen. That is on our social media uh, platforms, amen. And so we're grateful to God, amen. We thank God for all of his blessings, amen. How it was good to be alive. All right. It is good to be alive. It's good to be alive. It is good to be uh, able to have strength, amen. We, uh, we have been working with someone this week that, amen, that they're on their very last leg, amen. They're, they're uh, suffering badly, amen, and, uh, and they're, uh, they haven't given up on it. But, but when you are able to lift your hands and you're able to clap your hands, you're able to praise God, you're able to open your eyes and speak God talk, amen. We need to be appreciative to God, amen. For that blessing, amen. We take it for granted, but God is so good to us, amen. So I'm grateful, amen, for all of his blessings, amen. So let us receive, uh, let us receive, amen, the praise team over time, amen. And we just want to, amen, as I just uh, just said, amen, we want to be thankful, right. amen. And everybody knows this song, amen. It, it does say, amen, Lord, I just want to thank you. Right. I want to thank you. Everything is not always perfect in life. It, it never will be. But you got to learn how to thank God for the goodness. Right, right. Amen. Uh, that is in your life. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You look around at your children or your husband or your wife or anybody. Amen. Or you have activities of your limbs. Amen. We want to tell the Lord, thank you. Thank amen. For salvation only. Thank you. Amen. So sing with us. Amen. One more time as we come forth. Amen. This song. Amen. Lord, I just want to thank you.
you. Amen. For being so good. Amen. Unto me. And I know God been good to me. How many know God been good to them? How many know that God has been good to them? Praise God. I'm going to give God a praise again. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Glory to God. Thank God. Glory to God. He's worthy. Amen. He's worthy of all the praise. Amen. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sea. Amen. God is still worthy. Amen. Despite what happened this week, God is still worthy. Despite how you feel right now, God is still worthy. Despite what's getting ready to happen, God is still worthy of all praise. Amen. Amen. If you got two feet, you can stand on your feet. You can yourself this morning. Amen. You probably got out the bed yourself, told yourself. Amen. That's a blessing right there by yourself. And you can do all of that. Amen. Praise our God. Amen. There was many, there are many people right now. I often say there are so many people that win that they could trade places with you. Right this minute. Right this minute. There are so many people that just wish that they had the strength to trade places with you. There's some people that want to be in the house of God, but just can't be. But then there are some people who can be in the house of God that they won't be. Yeah, you think about that for a little while. <laughs> amen. You know, it's amazing how that when we get down and out, how we want amen, to do the things that we did before we got down and out. But it's good to give God a praise even right now. In the midst of everything that's going on, God is still worthy. Amen. Of the praise. And we thank God, amen, for Pastor Charles. We praise God for him. Amen. Good. Captain. Amen. To be in the house of God on this morning. Amen. We found it this, this morning in the book of Acts, chapter number nine. The book of Acts, chapter number nine. We're going to read nine verses in Acts, chapter number nine. Amen. Begin at verse number one. If you got to stand on your feet as we read these uh, nine verses, if you will. Praise our God. Amen. Acts, chapter number nine. We're going to begin at verse number one. Praise our God. And Saul, and Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they be, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the prince. And he trembled and astonished, saying, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the man which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the earth, and when he, his eyes were opened, he saw no man. But they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did eat nor drink. Lord, we pray today, God, that you are blessed in this word, God, that you might speak your word to your people, and that you might get the honor and the glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Let's all say amen. 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 We're we'll talk briefly this morning from the subject. Your story is your testimony. Amen. amen. Your story is your testimony. Amen. You, you know that, that when, when we come to testimony services, amen, sometimes we have to think of stuff to say. You know, but your story is your testimony. Amen. Your experiences, amen, is your testimony. The things that you have gone through in life, those are the things that your testimony, testimony is easy. Because you know your story. You know your experiences. You know 
where you came from. You know where God brought you from. You know the time that you were sick and God delivered you. You know the time that you didn't have any money and God paid your bills for you. You know it and where God brought you from. So that story becomes your testimony. Amen. Everybody's story is going to be a little bit different. Uh, you can be in the same household, the same family, the same church, and yet have different experiences. We go through different things, and your experiences, the things you experience in life, those things make you. Tell me that part. That disappointment that you experienced years ago, it has to make you into who you are right now. You may not realize it may hurt you or may, you may feel that I don't want to go through this, I don't want to go through that, but those things that you go through, those things have made you to be the individual that you are right now. Yeah. Now I know you're a long time, amen, but the long time better than doing the short time. Amen. But, but the story of the Lord is about a man named Saul. Now we all know this man Saul as Paul. Everybody loved Paul. Uh, besides Jesus Christ, Paul was probably the most influential person in Christendom. Amen. You know that half the New Testament, just about all the New Testament, amen, after the Gospels, was written by mostly Saul or Paul. Now these are the same person, Saul and Paul, the same people. But you would never know that they were the same person. Because the Saul was one that wanted to destroy the church. The Saul was one that wanted to kill, not only one to, but he had many killed in the church. But you don't read much about that. All we read is that Paul wrote good things. And uh, the God in him is all, all good about God. But the Saul was also a persecutor of the church. Mm, yeah, yeah. Shut up! 
in a bed and I can do the best he wants. Don't ever doubt the power of God. Yeah. I don't care what somebody is going through. It can be sickness, it can be whatever they're going through, but don't you ever doubt the power of God. Because God didn't take that drunk and turn that drunk of life around. God didn't take that alcoholic or that wine dipper or that drug and, and turn that life around. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all here? Oh, 
and he fell to the earth. And he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why? Because you got me. So, why are you coming against me like that? <laughs> why are you trying to come against the people of God like that? And then he asked a question. He said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest, and it's hard for me to take him to preach. But God said, Now it's time to surrender. The world now needs to surrender to God. But you know, God, 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 Thank God that he bought the evil. He's still after you. But he will always grab a man down. See, God will have to give you over to a reprobate mind. God will work with you and bring you back to where you used to be. There's some who they used to be close to God, but they drifted away from God. God said, I want you back. I want you back. So Saul said that it's hard for me to keep this. You can try to fight, but it's going to be a difficult time. Because I'm telling you, I'm God, and what I want, I can make it happen. Amen. See, God can do what He wants to do. Whenever He wants to do it. Why? Because He's good. <laughs> and He trembled and astonished. In heaven, oh God, what do you want? You think you're going to use me? You think you're going to use me? I want you to know that God can use me. And the God is in And if we think about our life, that we're from, mm. some of us came out of terrible stuff drugs, alcohol, adultery, fornication, every kind of thing, every kind of sin, you think we came out of stuff. But God's power is able. If God can bring Paul, we have a God bring him. Because see, some of us, when we, we, we in the church, we do stuff, but we still in the church. Paul, Paul fought against the church. Yeah. But God used it. And I think this is a good prime example here of how God can use everybody. Yeah. And look at what Paul is. Look at what Paul was. Paul had to write all these words and to encourage us. But think about where Paul came from. That's right, man. That's right. Think about where he came from. He wasn't one of them. He wasn't even close to one of us. My God, he did a terrible thing. But your story, his story became his testimony. The things that God allowed him to go through became his testimony. Now he was able to encourage folks. I want you to go back, I challenge you, go back and read chapter 22 of back and chapter 20 of back when Paul opened his mouth and began to testify. Oh, yes. He enjoyed.
a bad person. I was a pretty good person. I was here Sunday school every morning, every Sunday. I did Sunday school. I, 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 I did the church thing. I did, I did the church thing. I did all this. But you know what? You can go to church and stay there 24 7. But if God don't lay his hand on you, are y'all here? If God don't lay, if you don't allow God to lay his hand on you, all you do is go to church. Are you here?
He said, now we're going we're gonna to do a, a, a change that has not a good time to react because now we're going to process what's happening. Right. Ooh, oh, y'all follow me, follow me. So, so God said, Paul, I ain't going to tell you right now what you're going to do. I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to go And what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a chance to meditate. But through me, I'm going to close your eyes. Are you here? Amen. 
but they're there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes God will allow people to come to your presence. Do you want to get this? At the wall. Yeah, 
was it that he told me to go to it? So we need to be willing to tell our story because we have. So I said, I don't have a story. But you got a story. You got a story. It might not be drugs. See, I used to feel bad. I didn't have a drug story. I used to feel bad. I didn't have a story of coming out of this or that and the other. Because I always hear all always around church. Right, right, right. But I got a story. I got a story. Because my life wasn't perfect. That's right. I, 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 still, I still did stuff. <laughs> Amen. I have a story, you have a story. Yes, we right. give God praise for our story. Yes. Stuff. He brought us through. Yes, Amen. Right. And he has brought us to this time. And we give God praise. And let's give God praise for the Lord.